All right, for today's video review, we're going to continue taking a look at the Transformers Generation Selects GoBots Guardians 3-pack. Uh, in our previous video, we took a look at Treads, and uh, for today's video, we are going to be taking a look at Smallfoot here. And uh, yeah, if you're unfamiliar, this is basically an homage to the uh, to the 2004 eHobby set of G1 GoBots, which basically repainted uh, a bunch of the G1 Minibots into GoBots characters because Hasbro had just acquired the uh, had acquired Tonka and therefore had acquired all of the GoBots names. Or I don't, I don't know if they had just maybe they'd had it for a little while, but this was like the first major thing that they like used those names for, uh, to my knowledge. But uh, yeah, you know, they're not one to one in terms of like actually looking like the GoBots characters. Generally, they're just like characters names who turned into things that were similar or kind of the same as the G1 mini bots, but they didn't keep all the color schemes the same. It's, you know, it, it's basically kind of the, they're kind of their own thing but uh yeah um for like i said we for today's video we are going to be taking a look just at smallfoot here who of course is a a repaint of legacy united gears and uh yeah i, I know that figure is fairly recent but once i pulled smallfoot smallfoot out of the package and i was like oh I forgot just how much I loved this figure already. <laughs> it's just a really nice little mold here. And, you know, I definitely prefer it in Gears colors uh, to the small foot colors, but it's nice to see this homage as well. And, uh, yeah, she makes a nice little truck mode here. Obviously, you know, looking pretty similar to her original self. Well, not original, original self, but, like, the e-hobby original self, since, you know, this mold looked fairly similar to, to uh, G1 Gears. But, uh, yeah, rolls fairly nicely here. Uh, she does come with this gun, which, yes, unfortunately doesn't really really have a great place to store you just kind of peg it onto the side and like I complained about in gears video there is enough space down here that they definitely could have had this like peg underneath in some way but just didn't do it but eh, whatever I, I'm content kind of putting this off to the side but yeah you can peg it onto the roof here at a weird angle if you want or I guess peg it on like this you can do whatever you want personally I'm just gonna leave it in a box because it doesn't have a convincing storage method but that's all the places you uh you can put it uh in terms of comparisons in this mode just for the standard one here she is with kingdom sideswipe which and it kind of works, kind of doesn't work. I don't know. It, it's always been weird since Gears is supposed to be a fairly small character, but turns into a pickup truck. Feels like he should be a little bit bigger. I don't know. But the same thing applies here. It, it works well enough. Uh, here she is with uh, with uh, Legacy United Gears. So you can see what the two of them look like together. And then again, you know, I don't have the, that original e-hobby pack, but I do have a, a G1 Gears to show her off with since this was the uh, original mold that she used there. And then here she is again with the other... Uh, the other e-hobby GoBot updates that we've gotten recently. Like I said in the last video, it's nice that we got three of them at once just to kind of like catch up here. Now we're just missing the uh, the Power Glide repaint into Bad Boy. And uh, yeah, pretty good set looking so far. Pretty good set looking. Pretty good looking set so far. But uh, to get onto transformation, uh, like I said, it's exactly just like uh, like Legacy United Gears, which means it's a really fun little transformation. Uh, basically, you just take the, the chest piece from the back here, untab it, and then bring this whole section down, take the wheels, fold them onto the inside like, like, oops, inside like this. My mouth is not working today. And then take the chest piece and just fold it up like that. Then you just kind of want to wiggle open the uh, the roof here to take this section of the roof with the uh, the legs to unfold them at the knee, and then just fold these sections of the roof into the uh, the back of the foot there to make the heel. Then you want to take the entire hood of the car here and fold it down like this. Fold these wheels down, rotate around her head, and then you can fold that back up onto her backpack. Rotate out the arms just like that. Fold up the chest piece and then unfold the arms. And there we have Smallfoot in her robot mode. And uh, yeah, she looks pretty good. Uh, she is the only one of the three that actually has any re-sculpting. She does have a new head sculpt, which uh, I guess is really just more to look like the like comic design for the e-hobby GoBots version of Small Smallfoot. Because what's kind of surprising is you'd sort of expect them to do a new head sculpt to have like another one of the like G1 toy head sculpts like they've been doing for a lot of the new updated mini bots uh, and other figures. Um, but hers doesn't really look any more like the, uh, you know, G1 Gears head design than, uh, than, you know, the Kingdom version did. It's just kind of a different face on here, which does look a little bit more feminine and does have that visor there. I do appreciate that she has a new head sculpt. I guess, is this, I don't know. I think it must just be like this half is a new head sculpt, is like a new sculpt and the back half is the same because it's mostly the same like shape. It's just like a different face in there. And I don't think that's a separate, oh, it might be. I don't know, actually, now that I'm looking at it. So maybe it's like a whole 
the whole casing is the same, but the actual face part is a different sculpt. Whatever. I don't really care one way or the other. Just figured I'd kind of take a look at that. But uh, yeah, uh, to get onto articulation, our her head is on a ball joint, can rotate around. Obviously, it does kind of bump into the backpack here a little bit, but it's not too bad. Uh, the shoulders can rotate around like that and go out to the side. She also does have uh, this transformation joint, which kind of gives her a, a butterfly joint, which is nice. Uh, bicep swivel, deep full elbow for transformation, wrist swivel, waist joint, hips can go forward, back. Out to the side she's got a thigh swivel double jointed knee again for transformation which is pretty nice and then the uh, the feet can tilt out to the side and then you can adjust the heels if you kind of want to fake a uh, a forward facing ankle tilt but uh yeah again just like gears really good articulation especially for such a weird chunky little design here but yeah totally uh totally works there uh, obviously you can give her a gun here and it looks fine you know it, it's just the same gun that came with uh with gears there so nothing too exciting and then if you want to store it you can just peg it onto the uh the backpack here which works well enough um but yeah in terms of comparisons in this mode just for the standard one here she is again with kingdom sideswipe so you can see what the two of them look like together uh here she is again with uh with i almost said kingdom legacy united gears it should have been kingdom <laughs> legacy united gears and g1 gears just so you can see what they look like together and uh yeah we'll show off the uh, the head sculpts here like i said it is mostly the same sculpt it's just like this center section here like the forehead and the face are different which again i don't know if those are separate pieces on the mold or if they just slightly changed the uh, the CAD model for this figure. It doesn't, again, really matter. I, I want to say they're separate pieces just from like the look of how that face kind of sits in there, but still no other remolding, just that, but does do quite a bit in terms of like changing the identity of these uh, figures here. And then here she is again with the uh, the figures that she comes with and then the other two uh, updated eHobby GoBots. So yeah, you know, again, pretty good looking team so far. Uh, excited to see, you know, if we ever get more of these guys, but really if we just get the Power Glide one, then I think I'd be satisfied. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to her again very good figure just in lieu you know just by virtue of the fact that she's using a very good mold like gears might still be my favorite of this year so uh yeah no a lot of fun i think that you know in terms of like the looseness of the mold and like how it's changed over time this might just be due to the fact that she's using the most recent mold but she feels just as solid as gears whereas i feel like pathfinder and treads feel a little bit wibblier than their original ones like not to any like hugely terrible degree but yeah no she, all of her joints feel really tight and it feels pretty much exactly the way that uh that legacy united gears did which is nice but yeah that's uh pretty much all there is to it uh if you enjoy my videos make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel I do reviews every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And without further ado, here we have Transformers Generation Selects GoBots Guardians 3-Pack Smallfoot.